Hey guys, it's Tape the Grape, and this is part three of my vacation. I'll be going to Dubuque, Iowa today, and looking at the Mines of Spain um, trail. Presumably, if my car doesn't break down, because I'm going to be taking my Lumina, and I may have a bad master cylinder. Is that a good idea to take it? Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyway. But anyway, um, I've also got sausage, biscuit, and egg croissant, unlike a biscuit last time pretty good well we're about to leave now and hopefully the old girl makes it oh yeah but you'll see if it doesn't or if it does hopefully it does though guys we're on our way now as you can see yeah I didn't have to do it a second time like last video but anyway we're driving to Dubuque Iowa to the uh what is it the mines of Spain and then going to get something to eat somewhere I don't know yet but I'll see you when we get there all right, well, my Lumina made it. There was some sketchy spots, especially I hate, I hate, hate, hate when there's a stop sign or a stoplight right at the bottom of a hill because there was one stop sign. Luckily, it was on the country road. I was not able to stop at because I just could not stop. But uh, this is the place. Of course, I'm going to show you some cool stuff, really cool stuff. Let's go look at that sign real quick. So here's the the map, I mean to say, not sign. I guess technically it's a map on a sign. But let's see, it says we are here. So uh, well, this is the Mississippi River, by the way. I'll get a shot of that if I can. Oh yeah. And there's some really cool stuff. I don't know any about anything about this place, but uh, we'll see it as we go. Oh yeah. So we actually had to go and park elsewhere because we weren't even in the right spot. We were more in a picnic area, but uh, Here's what I believe to be the start of the trail, and unfortunately my phone's at a low percentage, at 30-something, so I'm going to have to be very conservative with it. But uh, we're going to go look at the cool stuff they have to offer, because I've seen a YouTube video of this place, and it looks pretty cool. Again, this is called the Mines of Spain State Recreation Area. That's where we're at, and then I believe after this we're going to get something to eat, and then we're going to head home. Just climbing up this staircase. I'm on a dirt incline. Probably not the best idea, but oh well. Let's go exploring. And of course, there's lots and lots of trails to get to the point we want to actually get to. This here is called the Horseshoe um, Bluff Wetlands. It's like a little marsh or something like that. Kind of small, but still pretty. Oh yeah. Let's go on over here. And as we emerge out of the trails, I get a pleasant surprise. Look at that. That's beautiful. And more over there. But we're going to get a, presumably a high up view of this place and the surrounding area once we get up on the top trails. But let's try and find them. Man, we walked a little further and we're just surrounded by rocks. Tall rocks and plateaus or whatever they're called. Beautiful though. This genuinely reminds me of Mount Rushmore without the faces, <laughs> and I've never been there, but it seriously is beautiful. 400 million years old. Oh, wow. We're going to go up on the second level and third level. If the second level doesn't loop around to the third, and we'll just go straight to the third. Oh, yeah, I want to see super high up. So it slowly increases, and then we'll see when we get there. While walking up this steep incline, I noticed something over here in the little brush. Well, it was almost like a little walkway path because other people were curious about it. But it's basically along this rock wall, it's like a little pit, you can see. Super tall rock wall. But, uh, it's like, a, like I said, a little tiny pit that, you know, self-explanatory, a pit. You know what a pit is. <laughs> but it's interesting anyway. Oh yeah. Now let's continue on the trail. Here's a nice view from the second level. Again, as I always say, and I will always continue to say, it's better in person than on video. And you got the plane in the background ruining it, but oh well. <laughs> Very nice. I'd say this is about like 500, 600 feet up from the ground down there. That little tree there for perspective, that's about, it's a smaller tree, but it's still, you know, bigger than me. 
it gives you any kind of perspective. I wonder if there's even a way to get up there. As far as I know, there's not. So I wonder if there's like wildlife up there that's never been on ground in like many, many generations. Who knows? But anyway. And this, I believe, is the overlook. There's no sign saying it is, but it's the closest thing I could think of. Rocks on either side. Kind of reminds me in GTA 5 of the, the stream that goes through the mountains. <laughs> but anyway, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they got the first level, which is level ground. Second level, which is this. And third level, I assume, is up there. We'll go check it out, though. And get a really nice, super high up view. Now we're going up to the third level, up these rugged looking stairs, or steps. Same thing, right? <laughs> but anyway, let's go see what's at the top. Continuing up further. Oh wow, I thought that was like a, a metal rock or something. Just a little thing holding the stairs in, but anyway. These railings. Like I said, I seen them in the video I was watching, so I know we're pretty close to where I want to be. Wow, these steps are steep. Let's go continue looking. Let's see. You are on the third level. All right, yeah, we're on the third level. There's something over here. Let's go check this out. Then we'll check up the stairs. Now, there is a beautiful view, but it's, of course, hidden by all, this, um, all these leaves and stuff. I'm sure in the fall you could see so much more. But, uh, let's go look at them stairs. And, of course, no rock climbing allowed. It's like a little cave in here. That's awesome. Let's go look. Don't worry, I'm not going to go rock climbing. I'm just going to go rock searching. Wow. Let's turn the light on real quick. Well, what can you guys see in there? That's awesome. It's really cold in there. It makes sense. That's very nice. There's a little cave, miniature cave right there, baby. It's really cool. So I definitely um, overestimated the height of this whole cliff area. I thought it was like, what I think I said, like 500 something feet. Apparently it's only like 200 something. Still tall, but not as tall as I thought. But either way, let's go check over here. Oh, this is beautiful right here. This is the money shot right here, if I have anything to say about it. You got the Mississippi River in the background. Well, it looks like a mountain way, way in the back. But this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. If you want to read this, go ahead and pause it, I suppose. And unfortunately, there's no way I can put the camera up inside the uh, telescope. You really can't see nothing. I even tried messing with a thing here, but it won't work. But I'm gonna go look at this, and I'll tell you what I see. Well, to save some space and some um, percentage on my phone, I'm gonna cut it here and show you where we're gonna eat shortly, but we're gonna get back to the car. But one last thing at this park, I'm guessing the way we went was actually the mountainous, treacherous tra trail going up steep. And this is actually a very subtle decline to get back down to the same parking lot. That's good at least. Get a break from the, all the climbing and whatnot. And this is where we're going to eat. Well, the food's pretty dang good here. It's a lot different than the Golden Chopsticks, but it's still pretty good. So we're home now, and thankfully the old girl made it. But honestly, yeah, I definitely need to get that checked out because it is not comfortable driving because you go and press it once, there's no brakes. And you go to press it a second time, but it, it's there's resistance the first time, you know, of course, because it's maybe rusty, rusty on um, where the pivot point. And, you know, it's just dangerous because you can't do two pumps in a really quick fashion, like in, in case of an emergency. And it's just not fun to drive all around. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely get that checked out eventually. Uh, whether it's a master cylinder or somebody else was saying maybe it's uh, rubber brake hoses that are expanding. I don't know. Possibly a master cylinder, but I'll let you know in a future video. Bye.